Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We're here with another ice team, it seems. You just got destroyed by one. The uh, obvious thing that we need to do... Yeah, we're going to lead off with Key Ogre and Rillaboom like we did last time. But instead, we will uh, Dynamax first turn if we see the Lapras. And just Thunder, you know, hit it with a nasty attack. Um... Serena might be able to do more this time. We've all... Ugh. I think Tornadus could actually come in handy. We can uh, get the weather in our favor. <sighs> we gotta watch out. Okay. There's two fairy types. Ah, what do we do with that information? There's not much we can do. If we don't bring Weavile, then. Then Weavile would be good against... Well, Urshifu actually might be better. Um, no, we'll bring Urshifu. But yeah, if my opponent leads Lapras, we need to uh, hit it really hard. Also, Charizard could be a problem too. If my opponent leads Lapras and Charizard, what do I do then? That's where the actual question will come in. Glaceon and Charizard. Okay, I'm okay with this. I'm actually okay with this. We are we, we going to hit... Watch this. We're going to hit with a nasty water spout. Because we are choice scarfed. Yeah. Alright, so... Here's the plan. Water spout. Right? Actually, Thunder thunder the Charizard slot. Thunder will finish it off. But also, if my opponent switches, it'll be knocked out. Yes. Like that. Um, I don't know what Glaceon wants to do, so I'll fake it out just to you know get an idea of what it wants to do. There's nine tails. Oh no, what? Why did we miss that? This thing... <laughs> Snowvel. It has Snowvel. Freeze dry, that's bad. It's really bad. Snowvel, annoying, very annoying. I need to keep Char uh, Kyogre alive, at least. So we're going to actually hard switch that out. Yeah, that's what we've got to do. Kyogre. Um, oh my gosh. Urshifu has to come out here, right? No. Actually. Shoot. We'll bring Tornadus out because we can do some stuff with that. I'll go ahead and... Um, grassy Glide into Ninetales. Try to prevent a, uh, an Aurora Veil. Can't let Aurora Veil be put up. I feel like that would be too much of a uh, terrible thing for us. Protect. Ah, uh, we are playing right into our opponent's hand, it seems. Right into it. Blizzard. Ah. And the worst thing is that this thing has Snow Veil, so it's going to make it so much harder for us to even uh, touch it. Alright, let's go ahead and Rain Dance, and then we'll Grassy Glide it. Yeah. So that way I don't have to worry about that Snow Veil, which is going to be very annoying, obviously. How did we miss again? How did we get two misses? This thing has something like a shiny powder or something like that. 
That's quite annoying. That is quite annoying. Well, what do we do? There's not much we can do. Because if we can't even hit the opponent, what's what else can we do, you know? Well... We'll just double target Glaceon. Well, that's really annoying, honestly. Because... Like, how can you win... How can you face an opponent where you can't even touch their Pokemon? I don't know why we missed twice. I feel like we would have won at least hit once. With a, uh... Grass, two grassy glides, you know. When that that last time, I didn't even have Snowvel to help it. All right. All right. Um, that's okay. We we might. I don't. I don't know how we come back from this because this is a pretty uh, one-sided match already. Because we missed a very critical grassy glide. We needed those grassy glides to connect. Yeah, I'm not touching Nine Tails. I'm going after that Glaceon. Get rid of that thing. So annoying. Jeez. And at least we're able to hit the Nine Tails through this. I mean, that's the only um, consolation. But, you know, um, Lapras is still a huge problem for us. Lapras is still a huge problem. Um, Espeon instead. Okay. I'll go ahead and get rid of that Espeon. We'll go ahead and uh, Aqua Jet the Espeon, right? Or do we detect? protect herself. I like detecting, because we've got two Pokemon on the field that's super effective on our Urshifu. So if we can detect, we can live whatever hit this thing's about to... Because Espeon's obviously going to be the uh, Dynamaxer here. We can at least live with something. And do some good damage. Green Espeon. Yeah, we're going to get a little detect here. We're going to protect herself. Uh, we have to. Please uh, destroy the Aspion. If we don't, there's not much we can do. It looks like it almost will. Max Starfall onto my Urshifu. We'll live that because of the detect. Please be fully parried. Please, um, listen, listen, Ninetales, be fully paired. Balance us out with Glaceon, dodging every hit. Yes! Yes! Max Geyser the Ninetales, as we not detect Aqua Jet Espeon. We have the rain. Oh, that's okay! Max Guard! I don't care! Double protected here. Okay. Aqua Jet. That's okay. We'll get some chip damage at least. Another bit of chip damage here. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And we're losing this. That's okay. I'll lock myself into Scald. No, I'll lock myself in the water spout. And we'll Aqua Jet Espeon to finish it off here. Hmm. Water spout will finish both off. That just leaves Charizard. That leaves the Charizard. Even with us missing Glaceon twice, we're still here. We are still ready to get rid of this Charizard that's obviously going to jump out here. We're going to get this. We're going to win this. The rain is not on our side, unfortunately. But, Charizard's not going to be able to handle two water types out here. It is not going to be able to. 
And I can Surging Strike and Water Spout. There's no way my opponent can double, you know, hit both of these. And Water Spout actually might do the job by itself. And it does. Nice, nice. Good game. I was so sure we were going to lose that one early on, but we were able to claw our way back. Get a nice victory. Anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.